to maintain your boho knotless braids. Boho knotless braids is not for everyone, okay? If you want a perfect style, like everything has to be perfect, you know, every hair on your head has to lay a certain way, then boho knotless braids is not for you. But if you want the free spirited, careless, but beautiful, like queen, you know, just beautiful, free, you know, spirited hairstyle, then boho knotless braids is for you, okay? So let's get in. So how to maintain your boho knotless braids? Well, the first thing that you need to do every two weeks, you need to shampoo your hair, okay? Every two weeks you need to shampoo your hair with a moisturizing shampoo and go in after you rinse the shampoo out with a moisturizing conditioner, okay? Shampoo, conditioner. The reason is because you're gonna have product buildup, you know, with the mousse that you put in your hair, the oils that you put in your hair, all of those things that you have in your hair is going to create a buildup. And it's nothing like having a fresh, clean scalp, okay? You have to take care of your hair from the roots on down. Because knotless braids, bohemian knotless braids is a protective style. So you do need to make sure you take care of your hair as well with the Bohemian Knotless Braids. So when you're finished washing and conditioning your hair, you can go in using, and this what I purchased from my um, the lady that braided my hair. I purchased her Morse Detangler from her store. It's like a nice um, curl activator, moisturizing um, conditioner like leave-in conditioner and it detangles your hair and we all know with the bohemian knotless braids you have the human hair and it's very important by the way to get human hair you know like the braids gonna be synthetic the actual braid is gonna be synthetic but the pieces that stick out you need to make sure that it's human hair because hey it's, it's just gonna give that that good you know finished look and it's gonna not get as tangled as synthetic hair okay so all the you see these loose pieces all of that needs to be moisturized like you don't want to have your hair looking dry and dull and if it start looking dry and dull it's time to give it a refresh look so that's when you spray in the moisturizing curl activator or um, leave-in, detangler, whatever you need to do to keep it nice and moisturized. So when I finish using my spray leave-in conditioner, I go in with my mousse, okay? I go in with my mousse and I go from my uh, roots all the way down to my, um, to the ends of my hair. And then I put the oil on each part okay each part you go in with your um, oils that you personally use and you make sure that you have it over your entire head like your entire um, parts area so when you're finished you do need to put a satin cap on like tie your hair up and you can either, if you don't have a blow dryer, you can either sit under the dryer or you can blow dry your hair until it's dry. You never want to go to bed with your hair wet because that's not gonna be good. It's, it's just not gonna be a good outcome. Let's just put it like that. That's a whole nother video. So you wanna always make sure that your entire head is completely dry, okay? Even if you get your hair wet from the rain, don't put on a satin cap and just go to bed. You need to make sure it's dry. Okay, or just like I said, sit under the dryer or blow dry it. So what I like to use for my edge control, um, I like to use the edge control firm hold. Um, I go in and just, you know, make sure I get my edges every day before I go out. I hit my edges with it and it's really, really good. Or I like to use um, ORS 
um, edge control as well. That's really, really good. It keeps your edges nice, moisturized. It's not flaky at all. And it's actually good for your hair. It has um, very essential oils in it as well. So let's make this. Oh. Okay. Another thing is I do this at least three times a day. I like to just run my fingers through my hair and just make sure it stays detangled and all that good stuff. And I'm going to tell you this, the first week your hair is going to shed like crazy. It's going to shed. Even though you have human hair mixed with the synthetic hair, it's going to shed. But after a week, you're going to see a big difference. And me personally, I have noticed it is not shedding nowhere near like the first week. Okay. So, um, yeah, I like to rub my fingers through my hair, just make sure everything all good. And I'm going to tell you this too, this oil that I use, I even, not only I oil my scalp, but I go all the way down and just make sure everything looking all nice and good. Because you want to maintain your style. You don't want to pay all that money. And we all know that braids in general is very expensive, but boho braids boho knotless braids we all know is very very expensive and you don't want to run your beautiful hair underneath as well you want to take care of your hair because just like i said it is a protective style to give your hair a break and you don't want to mess that up so you want to make sure your scalp is is staying nice and clean and you shouldn't go no longer than two weeks with washing your hair no longer than two weeks and this is also very important okay you don't want to go longer than two months with wearing your braids because your new growth is going to start coming in and it's going to bring more weight and it's going to cause tension and that's when you can, you know, experience hair loss and we don't want to experience hair loss. And me personally, I'm going to keep my braids in for six weeks and then I'm going to take it out because, you know, I just feel like me personally, I just don't want to go beyond six weeks. So keep that in mind okay and when you do take it out it's good to give your hair a little break you don't want to time you take it out go put more you know new braids in give it a, a little bit of break you know and then you can put it right back in here but you need to give your hair a break as well so i just hope you guys took notes and we can both learn from each other so if you guys have anything that you would like to leave in the comment section hey Leave it in the comment section. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Mwah.